All right, YouTube, what's happening, man? Today, we finna be reacting to this YB in the mirror Soul Train. I know I'm late to the party. I was late on the last little freestyle. I'm late to this. Y'all just got me intrigued, bro, with this trash music. So I'm going down a rabbit hole, man. So YB in the mirror Soul Train, I ain't even finna do too much talking, bro. Let's watch the show. Gotta pull it up here. This is a lyric video. There's no music video. Let's see what you talking about, bro. I just refuse to believe that this song is as bad as people say, cause like, there's no way. <laughs> if I gave you all my love, I say, would that make you happy, baby? Would that make you happy? It don't feel like I'm doing too much. If I gave you all my love, it don't feel like we doing too much. Would that make you happy? It don't feel like we doing too much. Every time I'm with you, I can give everything to you. Baby, will you bring it back to me? But I can't feel this way if you don't feel the same. When I glide, I slide, my slip around. If it come down to it, I'ma give it all. Make sure my mama's straight now, we can ball. Now. Whoa, what the fuck? How does this happen, bro? How does this happen? Okay. Okay. So, what's crazy about this is like, he's trying something different. Respect that. I can respect that. He's trying something different. Um, but this is like when you try something different and you just go with the first thought and then you just, bro, who do you have around you to, to release this, bro? I can respect the vision of trying to do something different, bro. But like, this is obviously like he went in the studio. He's like, bro, I got this crazy idea. Cause like we going we gonna make like a funk soul type of track, and I'm gonna do my thing, bro. And he went in there and recorded this BS. So first of all, we got to blame the engineer, right? We got to blame the engineer because if it's me, bro, if I'm engineering your session and you making some trash. I'm going to let you know, game, because, like, one, why are we wasting my time? Why are we wasting your time? You know, that's a reflection on me as well as a reflection on you, bro. And, I, and if you really trying to do music, bro, I'm, a, I'm trying to help you get to where you're trying to get to as well, bro. Like, I'm not going to let you just do this. So, like, really, we got to blame the engineer. And then why is the engineer even mixing and mastering, you know, whatever. Some people just, you know, money, money made the world go round. But this is insane dog second of all whoever who was in the studio with him the homies you know what i'm saying his girl whoever bro like there's so many different checkpoints you got to get past before a song gets released like this because i know he didn't put this out himself there's no way so who is in his corner bro that's why his career probably turned out the way it did bro and it, i mean you know what i'm saying he might be the type of dude that don't listen to nobody um he might be a, a terrible person bro but like still, dog, like, nah, man, that's this is crazy, bro. We gotta take that back, cause this is when it just got crazy. The hook, the hook, honestly, it was bad, but I could get through the hook. And I knew when the verse was gonna come, something had to change because there's no way that like people were reacting like that just to the hook. So this is this is crazy. When I glide, I slide my slip around. If it come down to it, I'ma give it all. Make sure my mama's straight, now we can ball. Now I'm trying to be low key and stay away from the bullshit. I, I gotta stay focused, I gotta stay focused. It's on my mind all the time. Who gonna ride when that time really come? I gotta stay focused, I gotta stay focused. I gotta stay focused, I gotta stay focused. It's on my mind all the time. I gotta stay if I gave you all my love, I say, would that make you happy, baby? Would that make you happy? It don't feel like I'm doing too much. If I gave you all my love, it don't what feel point like I'm doing too much. Would that make you happy? Why 
Why would he waste that beat like that, dog? Nah, that just pissed me off, and I need an explanation, bro. Like, I need to see some type of explanation for what mind space he was in when he released this. I'm gonna try to find an interview, and I know this nigga gonna be lying. I know he gonna be lying, but I gotta at least hear some type of explanation for this. This is insane. This is madness. Put me in the studio when. <laughs> Why do they put me in the studio when I be drunk as fuck? Like, it be stupid as hell. Like, bro, everybody be like, go to the studio and I'm here. Go to the studio and I'm here. Bro, I be drunk as hell in the studio, bro. I'm a soul train drunk than a motherfucker. Yeah. Like, bro, like, compared to my shit, like, for real. Like, listen to this. Listen to this. Like, really just, really just listen, bro. Like, I'm, I'm gonna play it because I ain't ever did it before. So, you feel me? If you in this motherfucker, you gonna really know. Like, it's just like, what the fuck, like, it's just like, what the fuck, like. So I, basically, he trying to say that he was drunk as hell making that, nigga. I be drunk as hell making songs, and I be making nothing that will sound like that, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. You cannot blame that on the alcohol, dog. You can't blame it on the alcohol. could never, like, bro, like, what the fuck, like. It, it can't be no, like, real life me just on some normal shit. Like, it's just like, you gotta be a drunk me. Like, hold up, I gotta No, bro, out. no, look, look, look. There's no way, there's no way that you can blame that on alcohol because, like, like I said, there's so many different checkpoints the music gotta get through before it's released. There is no way you put up on the homies. No, no, no. There's no way you recorded that drunk, came back the next day, listened to it again, and was like, yeah, that's a banger. <laughs> there's no way in hell, bro. There's no way. There's no way you was just drunk as hell and was like, yeah, that's the one. So we not even finna do that, bro. We not even finna, I'm not finna let you get away with that. Everybody was like, nah, bro, you gotta record at least two songs. You gotta record at least two songs. <sighs> record this old train nigga off that faded shit, like super faded, like like 100% faded, this like is gone. Sir, that was a cap, bro. And it's just like, all right, I sent it. Like, I'm gonna tell you exactly how I went. Like, I sent it to everybody. I sent it to all my friends, okay. all my family members, all my management people. Like, even the label, I sent it to everybody. I'm like, hey, bro, like, you feel me? Like, I could do this shit. Like, I could do this singing shit. But this is an example of what I want to go for. Like, you feel me? This is the this is the example of what I want to do. This is not the fucking song I want to put out. You feel me? Like, I didn't send it to them like, oh, my God. Like, yeah, I want to put Soul Train on. No, no, that's exactly what he did. Like that. That's exactly what he did. So, boom. Sent it to them. I'm like, yeah. You, you feel me? I'm drunk as fuck in the studio. I just want to send them all the songs I did. So I sent them the song I did before that. So, they like, damn, Soul Train is a hit. I'm like, hell no, nah, nigga. I need to re-record it or put it out a whole different this way or, crap, like, re-record something like it. Everybody just was like, nah, fuck it, bro. You got to put it out. You got to put it out. You got to put it out. You and that's the it. problem, bro. Like, not my That's the problem right there. Like I said, bro, who do you have around you, bro? Who do you have around you? Because a nigga like me will never let the homie go out like that. For real, for real, bro. Because that's crazy. Like, there's no way people's gassing that up. And if they are, you need to get away from them. Like, that just tells you everything you need to know. Like, nah, dog. <clears throat> Let's see if we can find one more interview where he's talking about it. Because I want to see if he is capping and if he changes up his story. You, how much do people try to number one? All right, let's get to the soul train shit, right? <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real with you, and I'm being mad on bias. And listen, if you find a clip of me saying otherwise online, you can call me a hypocrite. <laughs> I never thought that song was the worst song ever. I just, I just think it's eh, it's not one of the best. It's like that's, bad. That's what I think. Okay, that's facts. It's bad, though. It's bad, but it's not the worst song ever. It's just like, like I said, bro, you can just tell. Like, that was like he went in there, he recorded one time, and he was like, yeah, that's it. And he got the wrong people around him. Everybody else has adopted it to be like, this one of the worst songs in history. I think they dick riding. But yeah, they just dig riding. I ain't gonna lie. Like they going with the wave, like back to the wave shit. Niggas just riding the wave. They see all the hate shit on Instagram and Twitter, so they just like, man, fuck it, let me hop on this train. Hopefully, the I get moment, some likes. The moment blogs and I ain't gonna lie, I did post it too. The moment blogs posted like, yo, it got two K likes, but like fifteen K dislikes. Yeah, yeah, everybody, yeah. they wanted to make it a point to break a record or some shit. So yeah. everybody just kept saying it's the worst thing ever. <laughs> I don't think it's the worst thing ever. <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna lie. It's so crazy. I really didn't even want to put out Soul Train, but when it came out, I was just like, damn, like, bro, it, 
this could this could really be a fucking smash because all the hate that it's getting. You feel me? It's gonna fuck around, and go go soon off of hate. Like so, I don't know. It's it's in a better for me. That's a each different time. little like, angle. I never heard of shit, shit like so that. I just be smiling about that shit. I be getting bread off of it. So. Yo, yeah. they ran. They ran <laughs> it's true. funny enough because they they're running up the streams while trying to hate on. Yeah, this shit, that's funny. That's which funny. is kind of like yeah, ironic yeah. and interesting. During that time, because I know at that time it felt like niggas was just trying to. Everybody was just trying to out hate the other person when it came to you. Did you look at that, especially with like you know, people who you might have even been cool? Because I remember like even 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 my and I, I talked to him about this too. My nigga Norton, I told him I said, bro, listen. And I had a real conversation with him. I said, yo, I feel you one of the niggas who have been benefited from the YBM brand. I feel like you can't be a nigga who's championing his down. That's exactly how I felt or, too, bro. Or, or like, promoting the shit or promoting people to have these opinions of him. <laughs> it's very much different than if I'm like, oh, you know what? I don't like this song from Namir. You benefited from the brand. You, It's like almost you crossing a bridge. And then you take out a match and like, ah, fuck this shit right here. You know what I mean? Yeah, I would have. I mean, shit. If the nigga didn't like the song, he could have said, nah, I really don't like this one. But he was trying to like downplay it. He'll get all his friends to hop on on the, uh, the stream and shit, send it to motherfuckers. Like, bro, listen to this ass ass song, this trash ass shit. And what the fuck? Like, it's just like, bro, like, what the fuck? I'm your homeboy. Like, you're not supposed to put me under the bus like that. Like, you feel me? If I didn't like your song, I wouldn't even say nothing. Like, you feel me? Your song's just ass as fuck. But I don't say nothing See, about bro, that. See, bro, the like, people think, around you will make or break your goddamn life, bro. People don't understand that, like, the company you keep is literally so important, bro. Because even just hearing him say that, like, if somebody make an ass song that's his homeboy, he not going to say nothing. That's still problematic, bro. I'm not going to let my homie go out like that. If my homie making some trash shit, I'm going to tell him something, bro. I'm going to tell him something. I'm not gonna just do that. And then he's like, yeah, like nigga, plenty of your songs is ass. Like nigga, see, like niggas just be hating on the low. Like niggas be around each other, they be homies to their face and then be talking about them crazy behind their back. So it's just like. I don't hop on the internet and be like, oh yeah, this my boy, he's trash as fuck, yeah, blah. Like and try to downplay a nigga name that I fuck with. I never even downplay nobody name that I don't fuck with. So I don't know, I never, I never been that type of nigga and for him to do that type of shit when everything was all cool and everything was good and he knew the situation i was going through with my label it was kind of it kind of like i don't know made my stomach turn and i was like yeah it felt weird like that's really weird like now i'm on cut ass and that's the same shit with jay too because everything was like getting better with jay a little bit like even after the situation with my mom and all that and he hopped on there and did that shit and then hopped on aiden shit and did all that and that's why i'm like bro like you niggas really just trying to downplay me bro like without me it wouldn't be none of you niggas like you feel me yeah, no, no, no. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that part of it. So, so yeah, now nah, that, that has to feel a way when these guys. Man, I mean, I think we get the point, bro. Pretty much like, yeah, bro. Like I said over and over, bro, the company you keep, bro, because there's no way that song should have came out sounding like that. Um, there's just simply no way. It was a cool vision. You know, I think he was trying to do something different and you got to respect that. But like, there's parts of the process, bro. You, you know, trial and error. Um, you need peer review. Like, you cannot, bro, you can't, bro. But the funny part, like they say, ironically, the hate is just streams. And the song, the song finna go go. So it's just like, I mean, what can you say to that, bro? But, you know, that's all we got for this one, man. I think, uh, I think the point is very clear. Um, I wouldn't say that's the worst song ever. I wouldn't say that, but it's, it's terrible. But yeah, man, we out of here.